is Nisha. So today I have a review, uh, my opinion on the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. And I know I've promised you this, you've been asking me what I think about it and sorry it has taken me so long, but me and her were trying to have some sort of relationship and like each other. Okay, this this is not going to be negative review or glowing review. This is more of a if you need it review. So, first of all, I have never had the little naked basics. That's why I thought I go for this one because I know a lot of people like the other ones and I thought that would be a great way of trying all the matte eyeshadows from Urban Decay Naked and I was very excited about it um, when I got the alert from Urban Decay website that it was coming on that day I actually stayed up till midnight till it <clears throat> became available so I could get it so let's talk about the packaging because people go absolutely crazy about the packaging and yes it looks beautiful when you look at it it looks really really gorgeous there is no two ways about it but I think the actual quality is crap I'm sorry but this is as plastic as it gets I mean this is not a good quality packaging to me it looks really really cheap and I think I mean if you look at all the naked palettes um, the naked smoky is much more substantial yeah, it's still plastic but it looks much nicer it feels it feels more solid this is as plastic as you would expect from something you know really cheap from a drugstore um, so yes even though it looks really pretty I think it is very very cheap and mine, uh, my mirror just fell out straight away when I got it, so I had to glue it back on. In fact, I bet if I oh, better take the brush. It comes with a little brush, which I don't care about those brushes usually. And these are your colors. I'm, I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. Now, you cannot take away from the quality of the eyeshadows. Beautiful. I love Urban Decay uh, shadows and the matte ones are especially good. It says it's all matte palette. <clears throat> it is, but this eyeshadow, which is called Blow, is very much satin. But I quite like that because, you know, that's like my lid color. But then I looked at it and I thought, it is not very exciting and you can't get really excited because it is naked, it is nude palette, it's for your everyday, you know, looks, although you can get some nice evening looks with those darker colours. Now, do you need it? I don't believe that these colours are repeats from, from the other two little basics, so they own different colours, but I think if you have the other two you definitely don't need this one because even though if you swatch the colors um, next to each other they will look a bit different believe me once you've put it on your eyes you achieve basically the same look you wouldn't know the difference so when I I, w I was very very close to selling this palette selling it on because it's not something that really excites me and when I think about it, I've got hundreds of colors like this that I could recreate a look with those colors. But I suppose, especially if you're starting out, if you don't have many eyeshadow palettes and you like your nude looks, this is brilliant. I think you wouldn't regret buying it. That's if you don't have many other eyeshadows and you are into those nude looks. I would highly recommend it then but for me why did I need it so let's look at the cool colors so here I have my original tartlet palette this is becoming very difficult with all these blinking mirrors everywhere I must go like this so if I lift them like this and you look at this at this cool row I'm sure you can see that 
my tartlet has very similar colors in the middle row okay if I go like this the middle row is very similar to that um, and couple from the bottom row so that's for my cool colors and I can you know if I did one eye with the tartlet in a cool color in cool colors and one in this you wouldn't probably know the difference because the effect on the eye would be the same now with the warmer colors I have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette in which I have all these warm orangey ready brown colors so and they are matte and it's a beautiful quality palette love that palette and also look at my palette of Makeup Geek eyeshadows if you look closely you probably can see a lot of similarities in a lot of these eyeshadows so did I need this palette? no am I really excited about this palette? no the quality of the shadows is lovely they're very blendable very smooth I have them on today I don't have that much of it on today just a couple of colors all over my lid um, and I suppose that's what this palette is good for like an everyday look but I also feel that it doesn't matter which eyeshadow you use from this palette you sort of get the same look but that's the whole point of it it's naked it's neutral it's very natural so if that's what you're after that's good nice to travel with although your mirror probably will fall out um, yeah so it really depends what you want from your eyeshadow palette a great quality palette and I'm talking about the quality of eyeshadows I don't think much of the quality of the packaging the look is gorgeous but the quality is not that nice I wouldn't say I even would prefer it to be in a cardboard you know like the Anastasia I didn't need it but again if you are after matte good quality eyeshadows in cool and warm tones then by all means go for it uh, if you already have the other two little naked basics you don't need that one and if you have lots of eyeshadows like I do you probably don't need that one but then some people love collecting uh, palettes so that basically is my thought on this palette uh, let me know if you've bought it what what you think about it do you like it do you wish you didn't buy it so please let me know all that in comments um, but that's it for today thank you so much for watching and I see you soon bye